Good morning. It's a Saturday and me and Alex are about to head off to Bath for a little lunch day and a bookshop day as well. I thought it'd be fun to go visit toppings and water stones and there's this other really cool bookshop which prints and publishes books and manuscripts that aren't in print anymore or were never in print. It's really, really cool. I've been there briefly before. I've been to Toppings and the Waterstones as well briefly before. I'm gonna sit down because my arms are sore. I'm going with the expectation that I'm going to buy the second Emily Wilde book, Emily Wilde's Map of the Other Lands, I think it's called, because I definitely want to read that this month. And I think I'll get one other book. I'm limiting, limiting myself to two books. One, because I can't afford more than that. And two, because it's really only because I can't afford more than, <laughs> more than that. But I thought it'd be fun to make a little video out of this because Bath is a beautiful city. The bookshops there are beautiful. Topping is gorgeous. And then I also think the other bookshop I was talking about, which I can't for the life of me remember the name of, but I will obviously include it in a bit, is just so unique. And maybe we'll pop into other shops as well, but those are the three main ones I want to go to. I want to go to Waterstones because I have a Waterstones card, which I like to use to get books. So that's where I'll buy any books that I need or want. But yeah, it's kind of a gloomy day. It's a little bit miserable, but that'll just add to the atmosphere of all, I think. We're gonna head in in a few minutes, I think. Sienna's sulking a little bit because she can tell that we're, we're leaving her. <laughs> but she can't come to bath with us. We're going to head in and we're gonna go get lunch at Nando's because we've both been craving Nando's so badly. We um, wanted to get a Nando's a couple of weeks ago when we went to the cinema to see Mean Girls, but it was a Saturday night and there was just no, no getting in for us. The queue was out the door and we weren't going to do that. So we got a McDonald's instead. So hopefully today on this random Saturday in Jan in February, random Saturday in February, when it's a bit gloomy, we're hoping that one, getting parking isn't too difficult and two, getting into Nando's is a breeze. I'm excited. Me and Alex barely ever leave the house really. So <laughs> this is a big deal for us.
So that's us back from a very successful trip to Bath. You know how I said I was only gonna buy two books because I couldn't afford more than that? Yeah, I bought four books. <laughs> I made it work, okay? If that means I have no more money left for the rest of the month and it's only the 3rd of February, so be it. So I thought I would just end the video by talking about the bookshops that we went to and what we got. So we went to Nando's first to kind of like get our energy up for the big ordeal that is browsing bookshops and I was amazed by the fact that they had macaroni cheese as a side on the menu which was new and I'm usually really picky about macaroni cheese from restaurants because I never think they make them cheesy enough but this one was so flipping good so got that got a little glass of wine it was really nice and then our first stop was off to toppings and I didn't think I was going to buy anything from toppings because I have a waterstones card so I usually like to buy any books from waterstones so that I can get a stamp and then when you get 10 stamps you get a 10 pound voucher to spend but when I was in toppings I thought I just had dirt on my face and I think I did from the Sienna walk but when I was in toppings they had that little setup that bookshops do where it's like blind book date and I usually don't go for that because I'm very picky about choosing what books I want to buy for myself and I'm always just scared about spending money on something and then not enjoying it but I was reading the descriptions and there were so many good descriptions for these books. Alex was kind of an enabler in this moment and I also thought it would be quite fun to find out what book I got in this video so that's I decided to do it and I'm doing it for this video so you're welcome everyone. I spent money to make content so let's unwrap it and see what book I got. It's just so sweet. I love the little stamp. I had really nice hair this morning and then we went out into the gloomy weather and it's just completely lost any of the styling I did. So the description for this blind book reads, <clears throat> This short story collection brings a new perspective to folk tales, warping very real fears and superstitions, misadventures and miscommunications into strange and dreamlike happenings. This is a beautiful study of character and place, each tale entangled with the others in an atmospheric, palimpsest portrait of an insular village community bounded by the dangers and promises of the sea. And the themes are magic realism, loss, grief, motherhood, love. I like the sound of all of this. I like folk tales. I was drawn to the fact that it's a short story collection because I really want to get more into short stories. When I read short stories, I do end up really enjoying them, but I just never, never buy them for myself. But yeah, I really love folk tales and fairy tales and things like that. And this is like magical realism. I also like themes of motherhood, love, loss, grief. These all speak to me a lot. So let's hope it's a good one. Let's find out what it is. It's a nice wee ribbon to keep as well. I could like put this in my hair. It's a bow or something. Maybe that wouldn't work. <laughs> My god, it's like Christmas, but it's not. It's February. It's gonna be my wee Valentine's Day present to myself. Me and Alex don't really celebrate Valentine's Day because we don't really see the point in it. <laughs> mm, it's yellow. Oak. That's so funny because Alex picked this up in another bookshop we went to and was looking at it. That is so funny. I've literally never heard of this book, but in another bookshop we went to, Alex picked this up in a hardcover and was looking at it. We didn't even talk about it. He just had picked it up randomly. <gasps> Let's see. It's by Zoe Gilbert. Madeline Miller's got a review on the front. Shall we read the synopsis? On the remote island of Neverness, the villagers' lives are entwined with nature, its enchantments, seductions and dangers. There is May, the young fiddler who seeks her musical spirit, Madden Lightfoot who flies with red kites, and Verlin Webb, born with a wing for an arm. Over the course of a generation, their desires, gossip and heartbreak interweave to create a staggeringly original world, crackling with echoes of ancient folklore. This sounds incredible. This sounds so good. Oh, I'm so happy. I am so happy. I feel like there's something my sister will like as well, so she can, I can lend it to her after I read it. Okay, go off. Please with that. So after toppings, we popped into TK Maxx because I was going to go in there. And then we went to 
um, a little, there's a little indoor market that had, uh, that does like a second hand books and we browse there a little bit but I get overwhelmed in shops like that where there's no real order like it was organized into genres and stuff but like there's so many that I just get overwhelmed I'm not very good at shopping for books actually I really like the concept of going to browse books but then I get overwhelmed because I'm like there's too many to look at and I'm just looking at them and I'm not reading the synopsis so I really do have to go in with knowing what I want to get which is what I did today but um I still like going to look at the second hand book market stall because they might have something that I've had my eye on for a while and haven't got yet. Um, I like secondhand books. I like, well, I like that it's cheaper, but I also like the look of them. I really like cracked spines and like books that look a bit more worn and used. So yeah, but I didn't find anything there that I really wanted. And then we went to a bookstore that I never heard of before. Alex just um, found it randomly on maps. Um, it was like on our route where we were going. It was called Mr. B's Emporium and it was stunning. It, I think it's my favourite bookshop that I've been to in Bath so far. It, it was a bit of a tight squeeze in some places, like the layout wasn't perfect, but they just had the most gorgeous children's section, which you'll have seen in the um, little clips that I filmed. They had this like big tree in the children's section and this little like reading area set up and also me and Alex heard on two separate times in there the booksellers having like proper in-depth discussions with um people going into shop about giving them book recommendations and things and like you could hear it in their voice how passionate they were like in the children's section one of the booksellers was talking to a mother and her daughter and the daughter was like holding a book really she just looked so happy and then the bookseller was like have you read Philip Pullman and was about to recommend her something that was kind of similar to Philip Pullman we didn't stick around because we weren't going to eavesdrop on the whole conversation but it was just such a nice interaction to see and that like wasn't the only time in there it just was a really good vibe and atmosphere like I think like aesthetic wise toppings is obviously stunning and much more spacious and easier to move around but it's also can get heaving in there. This bookshop though, Mr B's Emporium, it just felt like it had a bit more of a personal touch to it and it just felt so sweet and cosy and very much like shop around the corner vibes from You've Got Mail. So that's my favourite bookshop um, in Bath that we've been to so far. I didn't end up getting anything from there though, I was so close. I did see The Adventures of Amina Al Sarafi in there which I put on my TBR a month or two ago and I never ended up getting it and I really still really want to read it and I was so tempted by that but I knew that I wanted to go get specific books from Waterstones and I'd already bought the blind book date from Topping so I didn't end up but I definitely want to go back to Mr B's. My brother and sister-in-law are coming to visit next month and Becca is obsessed with reading too so it'd be fun to take her there because um, I think she'll really love it. Then we went to Waterstones and I spent money. I ended up getting Emily Wilde's Map of the Otherlands, which is what I set out to get. Very excited to read this. This is the second book in the Emily Wilde series, the first one being her Encyclopedia of Fairies. And in this one, I think she goes with Wendell into the Fae realm and is trying to create a map of the realm. That's all I know about it. But yes, I'm excited to get stuck into this. I'm reading The Obelisk Gate just now and I think I'm going to go straight on to the third and final book in Broken Earth Trilogy after that because I'm really enjoying it and I want to finish the series. But I think I'll read that this one straight after that. And then we did end up getting two more books and I'm saying we because one of these Alex chose, it was a buy one get one half price deal. So I... It was literally like as soon as we watched in the shop, I saw it and I was like, I want it. I got God Killer by Hannah Kainer. Um, you'll have seen this everywhere, I'm sure. It's really popular. And I think the second one has just come out or is coming out very soon this year. Um, it might be already out. I, I'm not sure. But 
I've heard lots of people love this. I love the cover. Um, I honestly don't know much about the plot, but I think I'll enjoy it, honestly. Let's see what it says. Shall we read it together? <clears throat> As a child, Kissin saw her family murdered by a god. Now gods are forbidden, but they still wonder the kingdom demanding worship and sacrifice. Kissin makes a living killing them and enjoys it until she meets a god she cannot kill. Skeddy, the god of white lies, has bonded his soul to a young noble girl and Kissin can't kill him without ending the girl's life. Ooh. Kissin reluctantly agrees to travel to the ruined city of Blin Radin to demand aid oh, to demand aid from the last wild gods, but the city of gods is no place for a god killer. Yeah. I mean, that's a stunning cover. Um and then because it was buy one, get one half price, I was like, Alex, do you want a book? Do you want me to buy you a book? Then he said yes, please. And he chose Atlanta by Jennifer Saint. Um he loves Greek mythology and he really likes Madeline Miller. He's read Jennifer Saint before. He read um, Ariadne. I've read Ariadne too. And he really enjoyed it. And the, it was between this book and Electra, which was also there, but he went for this one because I think he was intrigued by it. Let's, let's read the blurb. When a daughter is born to the king of Arcadia, she brings only disappointment. Left exposed on a mountainside, the defenceless infant Atlanta is left to the mercy of a passing mother bear and raised alongside the cubs under the protective eye of the goddess Artemis. That's why he wants to read it, because Artemis. <laughs> That's an explanation. <laughs> Swearing that she will prove her worth alongside the fame heroes of Greece, Atlanta leaves her forest to join Jason's band of Argonauts. But can she carve out her own place in the legends in a world made for men? We love a Greek mythology retelling in this house. So this will be excellent, I'm sure. I really liked Ariadne. I'm sure it'll be great. So that was the four books that I ended up getting when I said that I was going to get two. But technically, one of them was for Alex, so... And one of them was a blind book for the video. I can't be held accountable. And you will have seen in our wee clip that we did end up going into this really, really cute coffee tea shop um, called the Tea House Emporium. And me and Alex do really like, I love tea a lot. I probably drink like six cups of tea a day tea a day at this point and me and Alex both like coffee as well we always have a coffee in the morning but when it comes to coffee we're kind of not picky we don't have the really like refined palate for coffee and um, so we didn't see the point in us buying any fancy coffee and I was too overwhelmed by all the tea choices so we ended up getting this strawberry white chocolate hot chocolate which was reduced as a little treat for us and we'll probably we'll use our coffee machine to like get some proper foamed up milk and have this tonight as a little sweet treat after dinner i think and it'll be really nice i'm excited to try it hopefully hopefully it tastes nice can't smell it but yeah <sighs> me and alex are exhausted i'm not joking i wasn't joking earlier when i said we don't go out we don't <laughs> so the fact that we left the house today and managed to go to all of the bookshops I wanted to plus more is quite extraordinary for us. We did come home and we are exhausted. We had to take Sienna straight out on the walk and now we've just have collapsed. So that's that. I, it was a really fun day though. And it was nice exploring Bath a bit more. It's such a beautiful city. It makes me homesick for Edinburgh because it's, it, it is different to Edinburgh aesthetic wise, like kind of architecturally, obviously there's a lot of, um, roman architecture with the baths and everything but i kind of kind of vibe wise with edinburgh with the kind of older buildings mixed with parks and like spots of nature and all these little closes and alleyways i do see similarities to edinburgh in that sense and it's making me homesick I miss Edinburgh so much. I miss all my friends there. And as much as I love living in the countryside, sometimes I do like the novelty of going into the city, but it does tire me out so much. Like just having to navigate the streets even is quite a lot. We were only there for like three and a half hours. But by the time we were leaving, I was like, yeah, I'm ready to go back to the quiet. I also miss Sienna. <laughs> So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me and Alex in Bath. I'm sorry that um, I didn't do any like talking clips in Bath, but I'm not going to whip my phone out and talk to my phone um, in front of other people. I can't even do that in, Ale in front of Alex. I'm not going to do it in front of a random crowd.
so I'm afraid you got stuck with just some nice music over that little montage. But I hope you enjoyed it all the same and enjoyed the pretty buildings and bookshops that we saw today. And I hope you have a really amazing upcoming week. Bye! <laughs>